Hello. In this video, I just want to go over with you a few very key important features with Eclipse Mobile to help you get in, check a price for a customer, check inventory levels, and maybe even process a, a quick ticket if you're in a pinch. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get out to Eclipse Mobile. And we do that by simply going to an address. Now, I've got my browser window. I'm doing this from my computer here, but typically you're going to be accessing, accessing Eclipse Mobile from your cell phone or your iPad. But you can also access it from your desktop computer, just like I'm doing here. I've just got my browser window squished up a little bit here to make it a little more like I'm on a cell phone. But I'm going to expand it out here so you can see the address. Now, to get to Eclipse Mobile, we need to go to https colon four slash four slash uh, woe dot womack electric dot com slash mobile just like that and press enter so that's https colon four slash four slash woe dot womack electric dot com slash mobile um, if you forget that and I'll go back out of the sign out screen here here we go if you forget that then you can simply log into uh, office.com, which is easy to remember. So sign in to office.com with your uh, normal credentials. And then if you just click on the Womack Electric uh, icon up here in the top left, it will take you to our SharePoint site. And remember, all this can be accessible from your cell phone, your iPad, or um, uh, your home computer or any computer that has internet access. And then once I get to the SharePoint homepage, and what I did one more time was just click on the Womack Electric Supply logo up here. Then I will go down to Company Links. And then once I'm here on Company Links, I will sorry, scroll down and I got Eclipse Mobile right there. And that's how we get to it. I recommend that once you get to this address, that you go ahead and bookmark it in your phone to give you quick, easy access to return to Eclipse Mobile. Now, your username and password is going to be the same username and password that you use to sign into Solar Eclipse. So I've got that in there. I'm going to sign in. Now, keep in mind, you may not have all the same icons I, I do. That's all based off of your user authorization in Eclipse. But what we're going to go over right now is how do we quickly and easily check price for a customer. So the first thing we need to do is pull up the customer and what we want to check the price for. So I'm going to click on cart and type in a customer. I'm just going to enter contractor cash and hit search. I got a list of results to come back for contractor cash. I'm going to click on this one right here. You still get the order, uh, order entry messages that you typically get in solar. That still pops up for you to view within Eclipse Mobile and we'll hit OK. So you basically have a blank uh, cart here. You see the ship to, the bill to, your shipping branch, and you can see that there's nothing in my cart. So we need to add a product. I'm going to start off that by simply searching for CHF 115 and then hit search. Pulls back my search results. I want to choose this product right here. And you can see that this, when I click on that, it gives me some more detailed information about the product. Not only do I see the price, and that is the price for the customer because I, uh, cert, I mean, I've, because I've got a cart going for that customer down here. You can see that by this right here. And by the way, this is your one click to get back to your cart from anywhere within Eclipse Mobile, which I'll show you that in just a second. You can see the inventory history for that customer with this product, and you can see all the availability throughout the whole company. You can even click on your location, such as Danville. And you can even see the location of where the product is located within your warehouse. Now I'm going to add this product to my cart. And I will point out that you also have some more detailed information about the product all the way at the bottom, um, such as weight and some more descriptive information. Uh, we also have um, cut sheets and images and spec sheets that you can all get as well at the bottom of this page. I'll hit add to cart and now you see that I've got that product added to my cart. If you have the ability you can click on the price and change it. If You can also change some views here by clicking on the drop down for availability and you can see cost of goods sold, GP percent, cost, so forth and so on. I can click on that and change it. 
Now, if you're on your cell phone and you don't see this, that's just because there's not enough real estate on your cell phone to see it. If you simply rotate your phone and put it in landscape, that usually does the trick to expand these to show all the columns. And then you'll see the availability column pop up and you can change these settings here. I could go search for another product for a price, such as 14.2 WG. And I see the price there. I can click on the Add to Cart button. And notice how I added one for this product, but the minimum quantity package for that is 250. So from here, I can type in 250 and hit Update. And it will update the ticket. And it gives me my price right there for 250 feet of 14.2. Now I can simply delete this ticket now that I got the pricing and I'm good to go. Now what if we wanted to search for a product and see how much that we had in the inventory and not really concerned about price we can do that by going over to the products. We could use the product drills to drill down for the particular product that we're looking for or we could just search for it. So we'll come up here and we'll just type in a CHF 115 to search from our previous example and we got the inventory availability right there. We can continue to go home, we can go products again and search for a DUR AA battery and we can click on the AA battery and search for that product that way and see the same information uh, from all the other product pages. Now what if we wanted to actually place an order for a customer? Well we got to start a cart so I click on cart, type in the uh, customer's name, and we'll use contract or cash again. Hit search and choose my customer. Got my order entry message. Search for a product. We'll do, um, we'll do a CHF 115 again. And I just want one of those. I don't need to modify the quantity. I don't need to see any more particular information about the product. So I'll just hit add to cart. And now I've got that product on my cart. I come up here. And I could add um, 14 to WG, and we could click on this, and I could go over here and increase my quantity to 250, and I could hit Add to Cart, and now I got two products on my um, in my cart. Now let's say for by mistake you clicked on Home and went back and went onto your messages and to check your messages if you needed to or send a new message to somebody but you need to get back to your ticket that you had going well down at the bottom of the screen you can see that this is my link back to my ticket that I already have open this is contractor cash it also shows me my subtotal so I'll click on that and it takes me right back into the ticket so now I want to go continue with checkout and this screen right here is basically everything that you would typically see on your order header screen you got your address information, your ship branch, which you could change if you needed to, your shipping method, which is basically your ship via. So if I click on this, this is all the different ship vias to choose from. And then your order status, which is defaulting to pick up now. You could change to bid or call when complete, which will be the three that you typically use the most. And for this particular example, I'll just make it a bid. Put a um, PO in. And I can type in my order by. And if I wanted to pay with credit card, I could maybe choose one that was saved on file or process a new credit card. If I click on a new credit card right there, if we were actually doing an order where we need to take a credit card. And we got shipping instructions, order comments, and internal notes. Um, as you know, these are all things on the header screen. And of course, as normal, if you type in uh, shipping instructions, that would print on the body of the ticket if it. Uh, if, if, um, if you needed to put in shipping instructions. And since I've got this set to a bid, I'm just going to go ahead and place order. And then you get your order confirmation screen. And if this was an invoice, it would say it was an invoice at the top. And another nice benefit of this is you could also email the customer a copy of the ticket uh, simply by clicking on email and typing in the customer's email address and then a quick message and hit send. I'll hit the back button, go back. Um, that would be that's a, a very handy feature if uh, you were operating remotely or your connection at your branch went down for whatever reason you didn't have computers 
um, this would be a, a nice way to send the customer a copy of the invoice if you don't have the capability to print. If I scroll on down, you see my, all the more the continued information on the um, uh, order summary page with the products I have, the price, subtotal, tax included, and your total. You can also access the uh, change log from here as well by simply clicking on that and we'll give you the change log just like it does in Eclipse. So I'll go back home and then one last thing that I'll point out is you can go back and look at customer order history and open orders and bids and to do that we can come over here and click on advanced search I can go down to customer type in the customer search choose my customer and now what I want to do is I want to go over to the overview and if I scroll down you see I got open bids open orders and order history so if I want to look at open orders I can expand that and then I get to see all the open orders there's the one that I just placed. Um, keep on going. And this is, I'm sorry, this is open orders. The one I just placed was in bids. Whoops. Open bids. There's the one I just placed just a second ago. And you can click on that and go back into it. Hit the back button to go back here. Go up to open orders. And you can see open orders. You can click on any of these open orders to drill in to see that information as well. So hopefully that will help you if you ever get in a pinch or you need to quickly go in and look at something in Eclipse. It's a very valuable tool. And as always, if you have any questions, you can re uh, send an email to IT support at womackledger.com. Thank you.